Hey everyone, this week I am gonna be answering three of your questions that I'm kinda binding together to answer all at once. The main one that kinda encompasses all of them is from Lynn K. Can you please talk about parenting in any Bible passages that you apply to parenting your children? And along with that comes Dolphin's question, can you do one on how to discipline multiple children at once? And as well as Cindy King, can you talk about how you teach your children scripture? For me, all of that kind of goes together. Just the discipline, the teaching scripture, and just parenting. This morning when I woke up and was doing my devotion, I am in the book of Judges right now. And it one verse like or two verses really stick out to me like, oh, this is why we do the tough stuff and do the hard job of raising kids. In Judges chapter two, verses 10 and 11, it starts off talking about a generation that has passed, that has all died. And that generation is talking about is the Israelites that saw Moses bring them out of captivity from Egypt. They walked through the Red Sea. Like the people that saw and lived through so many miraculous events. So it says when that entire generation, the ones that lived through all those, had been gathered to their ancestors, they died, another generation arose, so another generation, I'm thinking either their children or grandchildren, very soon, arose that knew neither Adonai nor the work he had done for Israel. Then the people of Israel did what was evil from Adonai's perspective. And that, like, is just heart-wrenching. Like, but that's what happens if we do not raise our kids and we do not teach our kids they're not gonna know like we are the main teachers for them which uh, deuteronomy 6 is a big one for me these words which i am ordering you today are to be on your heart and you are to teach them carefully to your children you are to talk about them when you sit at home when you are traveling on the road while you lie down and when you get up Tie them on your hands as a sign. Put them at the front of the headband around your forehead and write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. That to me is something that I try, like that's why I get note cards. If you've watched some of my videos before, I'll get note cards and I'll write down scripture and I'll put those around different places around the house, mostly for myself, but also for the kids to see. In our kitchen, we have a wall that has scripture verses that we read through with the kids. And so for us teaching our kids scripture, we have started at a young age, like Toby's two, and he loves getting out the picture Bible. Just the other day, he was asking mom, and he brings me the Bible and wants to read it. And so reading through the Bible, getting a good picture Bible, my favorite children's storybook Bible would be the Jesus storybook Bible. That one, is just amazing. I haven't seen a better children's storybook Bible than that one. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in getting that one. It's also amazing for adults to read. If you are new to your faith, I highly recommend getting this Jesus storybook Bible because it just easily sh shares the stories, but in a way that wraps everything back to Christ. And it's just, it's just really good. Another thing that I do with teaching my kids is just talking to them about, I don't get into like deep details about my struggles, but whenever they are struggling with something or they see me lose my patience, and, and just I just talk to them about it. I talk to our six and seven year old about it, sometimes our four year old, um, but I, I'm just open with them and I apologize to them and I bring them in to let them know like mommy's still learning too. Like I'm gonna always be learning just like you're learning things and, and just trying to be open and honest with them and just showing the process that we're all gonna be doing. Like you're learning a lot right now because you're young but mommy's also still learning and just showing them that we all learn. Now when it comes to discipline with multiple kids, this is tough and this is why this scripture really comes in handy for me because there are so many days, especially lately, that I've just been like, I just wanna quit. And I've turned to my husband and I'm like, Tim, like, oh, I really just wanna quit. I don't wanna have to discipline them anymore. I'm tired of them fussing and arguing and complaining and I just wanna quit. I don't want to have to correct all of this. 
and just run away from it because that sounds like the easier thing to do to not discipline them but i know that it's gonna be well worth it in the end and how does that look with multiple kids we have tried to figure out what our kids love languages are and we focus more on the positive like how are we feeding our kids emotionally spiritually mentally and and how can we best help them because usually whenever there is a trigger and there's a kid that's just like really having a bad day or a bad week depending on how long it takes us to catch on to what's going on we usually try to look at like what's going on one are they hungry two are they tired three is their love tank empty and we try to fill those needs first sometimes they are just blatantly disobedient and we have to deal with that but usually I try to get to the heart of it and try to figure out where are they and what do they need. And that has proven over and over again to be really successful, I feel like, with us. Of just like sometimes they just need some one-on-one -on -one time and we need to go and spend some time together. And they just need to know that we really love them and we want to spend time with them. And lately one of the things that I have been trying to learn and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit is at the end of the day, the last thing I really want to do is go up and spend time with my kids. And I know that sounds kind of bad, but after a full day of just serving like i just want some alone time and i just want to clean up the kitchen by myself but last night i was like all right everybody's upstairs this is their reading time i could be cleaning the kitchen right now but i really just need to be available for spending time with my kids and so i went upstairs and immediately little hallie asked me to read her a couple of books and it was so much fun because it's so easy to be like, no, I need to do this, I need to clean, I need to da 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 da, and not make the time for them. But that time is so precious, and they need it, and I need it, and I feel like just relationships go so much better if there's more time to connect. And so I've tried to relax a lot more when it comes to housework and let things go a little bit more and just be okay if my kitchen counters are not completely sparkling clean at the end of the night. I've been a little bit obsessive this the last few months since getting into a new house, our first house that we've owned, and, and I'm trying my hardest to start letting things go and be like, you know what, it's okay. Guys, I am almost out of questions that you have asked, so if you have more questions that you would like to, for me to answer, put those in the comments below and I will get to those whenever I can and I'll try to intermingle those into what I'm learning and what God has revealed to me um, just throughout my days and throughout my weeks. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you next week. Bye.